The USGA changed many rules this year to try and make the golf rulebook simpler and easier to understand. In this week's golf tip, Mike Claybaugh explains the changes made when dealing with penalty areas. Some of the significant changes this year is in the terminology for some of the things that we used to know as water hazards, lateral water hazards. Now they're collectively called penalty areas. We have a lot more options now. Guess what? We can take a practice swing from a penalty area. We can remove loose impediments. Those are the natural things, the twigs, the rocks that might impede our swing. But here are our new options if our ball is in a penalty area. Number one, we can always play it. We can ground our club. It's okay. We can go back to where we last played the shot. Number two, we can take the area or the line that it last, the point that the ball last crossed the penalty area. In line with the flag, we can go back as far as we'd like. The last option is to take two club lengths. The club lengths must now be our driver. So two club lengths. And then our new ball drop it rules are from knee height. Once the ball has landed, it is back in play. Our new, our new rules simplify the terminology and hopefully simplify the procedure for carrying out once you've gone into a penalty area. Never want to be in that penalty area. Yeah, very interesting new rules. I guess the, the best option of all would be to not even go there, huh? Yeah, I struggle with that, though. Yeah, yeah. So do I. So do I. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.